tough war, isn't it? The camera's uh, showing an overheat warning as well. Um, we're just about to set off for West Wales Airport. Do I start taking off too far? Okay, okay. Uh, can't really get going now. How do you think I feel? I'm in a hoodie. You are, aren't you? Golf Romeo Bravo, rolling too hard. Romeo Bravo. Golf November India, India X-ray uh, holding it. Charlie, ready for departure. Roger, surfacing 25071, one on rolling. Roger, Golf India X-ray lining up 25. India X-ray. Uh, Golf India X-ray, request a left turn on climb out if possible. Golf India X-ray, climb out your discretion. Radio Golf Echo, echo, echo uh, changing frequency to 129.835. Thanks again. Change 129.835. Echo, 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 Roger, many thanks. Good out. Golf in your X-ray, rolling 25. Your X-ray uh, just departed the circuit to the uh, sorry to the 80th end of the south. Can you feed with now? 118, that's 1930, not better. In direct, sir, Roger, many thanks. Good day. Thank you, Knob. Go for the bottom right, Ted. 135, sorry, 129835 now, please, on the bottom one. Three five. One two nine eight three five on the bottom one, yeah. Yeah, they're off and on sometimes. 
but uh, best we uh, see, just double check this danger area, it definitely isn't open. Yeah, I'll give them a shout out now. 118930, yeah? Yeah, 118930. He's doing it again, just ignore him, Charlie. <laughs> One better radio, one better radio. This is Golf Charlie, Mike Echo Echo. They're shut at the moment. Uh, this is Glider Romeo Papa approaching the overhead at uh, 3,000 feet. Per Great. Minute. Glider. Oh. Echo Echo. Um, we're a bunch of four Michaelites just coming across uh, from close to Port Maddox at the moment. We're hoping just to uh, go overhead. Well, there's no one there and there's no ATZ, so fill your boots. Whereabouts are you? You're in the uh, overhead at the moment. Negative. I'm just overhead Harlick, 3,500 feet, in the glide towards Port Maddox. I'll be uh, turning back north, join downwind for runway 15. But, um, what altitude are you, boys? Uh, I'm currently at uh, an altitude of 2,000 feet. OK. I'll keep my eyes peeled. OK, OK. Um, just a shout out to the glider, uh, we're currently on QNH 1019. Likewise, uh, presently 3,400 feet, 1019. Overhead Harlech, heading south, our route via Mole Free, Barmouth, and then uh, back to Lambetta. OK, 1019, we're going to follow the coast all the way round. OK. Thanks for the information. OK, he's also on 1019. Roger that. So if we stay at 2,000 feet, you'll know what height we're at. He's currently at 3,000 feet, isn't he? But he's, uh, he's going to descend at some point. Roger, all maintain 2,000 on QNH 1019. Our golf in the X-ray, a little bit lower, about 1,850 at the moment. Just trying to stay out of Charlie's way. Tango Zulu's hearing all that, and I'll watch with joy. Uh, good for me, although my altitude is reading 7,500 feet. <laughs> it definitely isn't, though. Uh, if it's doing that, Charlie, you can just reboot the system if you're brave enough uh, uh, just by turning the COM switch off or the NAV switch, one or the other. It's a bit of a pain in the ass, but it should give you a correct reading. Roger, doing that now. Right, back on frequency and booting up. Yeah, not sure why it does that, and it does it occasionally. It's a bit annoying. Yep, that's done it. Nice work, pal. The control out, delete, sorts everything out. Aye, aye. So, visibility is a bit uh, too. I wonder whether it might be better to drop down to uh, about 1,500 feet. Yeah, I'm second in that, to be honest. I don't want to fly into the Merc horizontally. I prefer to be able to see the ground. Yeah, I can see you on the ground in the layer of cloud there, uh, Gary, so you, you might actually be better staying above it, to be honest. It's a little murky down there as well, isn't it? Yeah, I can clearly see you above the line of cloud, though, so maybe it's uh, just a bit deceptive looking up top down. Uh, it's murky in front as well and underneath me, but thank you. I'll, I'll try staying at 2000 for a bit. Roger. Our golf in your X-ray is going to drop down. I don't want to uh, risk losing sight of the ground. Okay. Want me to hold glasses? Okay. Michael, like formation from Romeo Papa. Can you call a beam in the airfield for me, please? Echo Echo? Yeah, echo Echo, can you call a beam Lambetta, please? Beam Lambetta? Yeah, so when you are um, running up the coast, if you're just a beam Lambetta, just let me know. Um, we're currently at Harlan Castle at the moment. We've been uh, conversing with a, micro, uh, with a, a glider on, that, on the scene, if you can see. Yeah, that was me. So, OK, uh, if you're overhead Harlan, you're well clear. Thanks very much. Thank you. I, I was just literally about to give you a call and just say, uh, whereabouts are you? Whereabouts are you now? I'm down by uh, approaching Barmouth. Barmouth, OK. We are actually heading down that direction. 
Oh, you're heading south. Okay, fine. All right. Um, if you're going through the overhead, just uh, let me know if you're you're at 2,000. Uh, we're currently at 2,000 in the overhead. Perfect. Okay, no worries. I'll make. I'll be well clear. Just out of interest, what's it like down there? It's uh, smooth as anything and uh, very quiet. They're not great for gliding. I just motored up to uh, Snowden to see if I could find something. I'm just running down towards uh, Barmouth, as I say, to have a look at the ridges, but, but there's no wind, really. I used to fly gliders. I have pretty loved them. But um, I'm now, now on a powered aircraft. It's a bit murky down here at 2,000 feet, that's all. Yeah, it, it is. Uh, it's hazy. I'm at two six now, in the, obviously in the centre, but it is murky. Okay, so uh, just been talking to uh, the guy, the guy who's ever so friendly and ever so nice. He's currently uh, going off towards. Um, well, he's in the same sort of direction, Barman's Tour, um, but he's saying he's, he's climbed up a bit higher out of the murk. Yeah, Roger that. Yeah, Roger. Thank you, Zulu. I'm, I'm probably not going to climb up any higher than this. I'm quite happy at this height. Uh, Golf in your X-ray is at 2,200 currently. Okay, I feel the same here. Uh, so Echo, uh, just to let you know, the glider is currently inbound to Lambeda at 1,300 feet. but I can't get this temperature to drop to below 23 degrees. Stop moaning about everything. Anna said stop moaning about everything. <laughs> Press your button and say it. Hello, those budgie smugglers are coming out. Come on, that's it. Please, no, I'm sorry. Everything. Can't believe I burned so much fuel just trying to get out of sleep. I can, it's got to haul your facts off of, up off the deck. <laughs> Nick! Gary, you're beautiful in your own way. Do not be fat shamed by this horrible man. Anna, I love you. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we've got quite a fat little thing on the right hand side. About 1,700 feet below us. Uh, what do you mean right hand side? Going away from us or towards us? Same direction. We're on a 250 foot flyby over Clan Better, unless it's that. Is, it, is that what you're seeing? No, I'm seeing a, a fast jet of some sort. Yep, that's the A400M. He was supposed to be going west. Where is it, Gary? Oh, he's all right. He's well and truly out at sea. I'm on the coastline now, should I move inland? No, you'll be fine, honestly. I'm at 1,800 feet. Yeah, he's just about 1,800 feet as well, but I wouldn't worry about it. He's literally, literally miles away there from There he is, me. yeah he is. Yeah, he's in my 400, uh, my 4 o'clock, about 1,000 feet lower. It looks like he's going to overtake the Lafour Long. Yeah, he's staying constant. Oh, I see him. Huh. He's ages away, don't worry. Where is it? Oh, I've got him in my view. Bloody hell. Where is it, babe? It's just... You see him? Where, babe? I'm barely excited. Aye, aye. Hey, What's that one? Whoa. I'll take a video. A400M. I can see it. Wow. It was doing a 250 foot flyby over Clambetta. I'm glad we're out of the way of that. I hope that glider had turned his engine off.
what you guys are doing all the way up here. It's lovely down here. It's so nice. I'm at 800 feet looking at the cars and the people, and it's just beautiful, getting a beautiful view of everything, and you're just miles away from it all. Well, I didn't realise that I'd slumped my little way up to 4,500. I don't know if you heard that transmission, but it uh, looks like he's overflying West Wales, and then he's on to Haverford West. Probably an overfly there as well. Yeah, echo, echo. I agree with that. Um, so, the only thing was I heard a Cessna coming north. Yeah, I've broken that transmission. I didn't quite make that. Did you get the height? Yeah, 1,500 feet coming north. Roger that. The views are absolutely stunning. Oh, all these... Westward traffic, westward traffic. There's still Charlie Mike Echo, echo. Go away, Gary. All these smugglers' caves down here. This is uh, now uh, Golf Charlie India Romeo Bravo, lead aircraft formation of four micro lights. I can relay all um, airfield, uh, all registrations. Uh, presently 10, 10 miles uh, east of your airfield, intending to join on 25. Request arrival information. The yeah, active runway is uh, 07. The wind is uh, 0205 knots. 07001. What's that? Roger, so active 07 and uh, QFE 1001, Golf Charlie India Romeo Bravo, lead micro light, followed by Golf Charlie Mike Echo Echo, followed by Golf ne uh, November India India X ray, followed by Golf Charlie Oxtrot Tango Zulu. That's Golf Charlie India Romeo Bravo. Uh, they will all have to make individual calls as they enter the ATZ and the uh, procedure is to report downwind to 07. Okay, so we'll align for uh, downwind 07, they are actively listing and we'll call in turn. Call for Romeo Bravo. Okay, they just call back and repeat the runway news and the QFE 1001. Roger, so QFE and uh, active runway. Golf Charlie into Romeo Bravo. Uh, Golf November, India, India, X-ray, QFE uh, and H1017 and uh, active runway, runway 07. Golf Charlie Mike, Echo Echo. Uh, 1001 and 07. Can you tell me if it's left hand or right hand, please? Sorry, I stepped on there, didn't get your call sign stadium. Golf Charlie Mike, Echo Echo, and 1001, active runway 07. Can you tell me which, uh, whether it's left hand or right hand, please? 07 right hand, the QFE 1001. 07 left hand, uh, right hand, 1001. Thank you, Echo Echo. Golf Charlie Foxtrot Tango Zulu, West Wales information. Sorry, yeah, Golf Charlie Foxtrot Tango Zulu is the last of the four. My flight I have 07 right hand and 1001 QMB. Tango Zulu uh, information correct. Report downwind for 07. We'll go Golf Tango Zulu. <laughs> Don't forget the right hand, yeah? A firm. A firm right hand. That means, Gary, as you look down the runway, is on your the circuit is on the right hand side, so uh, it will be on our left as we approach it. Not if you join downwind. Yes, if we're joining downwind, we are will be joining on the left hand side of the runway that is directly in front of us. Zero seven is facing us. Oh yeah, we're joining on the left hand side of the runway. That's right. But at the moment, you're on the right hand side. No, I'm on your right hand side. I'm aimed up perfectly for a downwind joint. In line like a cheap watch. 
Jump to the faster than you. Right, dropping back to let you in there, to the easy devil. You don't need to let me in, I'm already ahead. I have to let you in. Get a picture of that. Anna's taking a picture now, I've already overtaken you. Anna, don't take pictures. Denial isn't just a river in Egypt, you know. <laughs> right, changing over to the other frequencies for sensible talk. Ditto. I've still got two miles to run, but I'll call them right on the same boundary. So, Anna, how are you enjoying your first bath? Very good. Yeah? Not a bump in the sky. But you're enjoying the experience of it? Yes. I like, I like flying when there's multiple people. And there's not too much traffic or not too much going on, not too much flying. You, you OK? No, so far so good. That's a bit of a result then, really, isn't it? It is. OK, let's start a bit of a descent. Down to a thousand. How are you finding that? Thoroughly enjoying it so far. But it's a bit, the bit was a bit sketchy before, but I think now my eyes have adjusted, it's a bit better. Yeah. Uh, Golf November India, India X-ray about to enter the ATZ uh, to join downwind for runway 07 with a right-hand circuit. Golf India X-ray, Roger, and uh, report downwind for 07. Traffic ahead is your colleague in the Eurostar, Romeo Bravo, uh, next reporting final. Report downwind uh, and uh, report final, Golf India X-ray. Golf John and Ike Echo Echo, also just about to enter into the ATZ, uh, following India X-ray. Golf Echo Echo, Roger, and, uh, and report uh, downwind. Echo Echo, will do. Got Romeo Bravo, final 07. Got for a Romeo Bravo, runway 07, wind 030, zero, 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 4 yeah. knots, land at your discretion. Long light, isn't it? Got for Romeo Bravo, yeah. landing. Uh, Golf in your X-ray, established downwind now, 07, right hand circuit. In the X-ray report, final, break, break. Golf for Romeo Bravo, vacate and next to left. Okay, so next left, Golf Romeo Bravo. Report final, Golf in your X ray. Runway vacated, Golf Romeo Bravo, request taxi to park. Taxi to the end of the blue hangar, you just turn back. And that's the point where the main camera overheated and shut down. The other two cameras did keep recording, however, so please do stick around for some rather funny footage on the ground at West Wales Airport. But for now, sit back and enjoy the landing. Welcome to West Wales Airport. Um, did I stop my cameras? <laughs> did I stop them? Isn't it just? 
How are you coping, Charlie, in the furnace? I'm dealing with it. <laughs> At least you're uh, uh, of the right hemisphere to be able to deal with it. And Gary, why don't you try putting your plane on the parking area? Just a thought. I'll turn around, let's see what your thing says. <laughs> what did you decide? There. I don't know. I hope no one spots it. It's mortifying, isn't it? No. Babe? You need a wee again? No. What? Could you potentially get. Oh. Could I potentially what? Yeah, get your high vis on as well, babe. How was Gary's flight here? Hello. Can't hear a thing because my ears are blocked. How was your flight here? It was lovely, absolutely gorgeous. How there. marvellous. I was skimming, skimming beaches. What's he, what's he doing now, Anna? He's got what? She won't wear it. Slender Gary. Turn around, Gary. Sexy Mickey. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant. You know what? When a boy thinks you actually do it off a shot. Okay, Gary. It's just the wall. Thank you for watching this episode of Let's Go Flying. If you enjoyed it, please do give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. It all makes a massive difference to the channel. There's plenty more of this trip coming up. This is only leg two of day one, so there's lots more to see. In the meantime, take care and I'll see you on the next one.